that sparkle and glitter. And Maurice the magpie was the best of the best. Just look at the rubbish he kept in his nest. Gold wrappers and trinkets, he just couldn't stop. His nest was a mountain with a family on top. This was great fun for both of his kids. They'd slide down the side on bottle top lids. But Doris, his wife, said, Enough is enough. You've messed up the nest with all of your stuff. If you carry on adding to this frightful display, you'll soon lose the lot, for the branch will give way. You're right, said Maurice. Leave it to me. We'll move somewhere larger. How about the oak tree? So, that's what they did. But oh, what a mess. Poor Doris the magpie liked this place less. Gold chocolate wrappers were stuck to the wall, and old bottle tops were stacked in the hall. Marbles were rolling all over the floor, and cola can rings were blocking the door. Doris was desperate. It's just got to stop. I don't want to see one more bottle top. Poor Maurice the magpie loved his collection, but he loved his wife more and understood her objection. Word spread through the wood, and soon it was known that Maurice the magpie was clearing his home. A line of red ants marched up the tree and carried away all they could see. A squirrel took most of his gold-silver foil to wrap up his nuts to hide in the soil. By the end of the day, nothing was there. The collection was gone. The tree house was bare. That's better, said Doris. Now we've got space. She polished and dusted all over the place. But Maurice was sad. He had to confess. He missed all the sparkly, glittery mess. And after a week, even Maurice's wife felt that the sparkle had gone from her life. Both of their children thought, what can we do? Then they came up with a plan, and off they both flew. Without their folks knowing, they searched high and low for all of the things their dad had let go. You may think it naughty to behave in this way, but the two little birds just giggled all day. That evening, their parents flew back to the tree. Their children were hoping they'd like what they'd see. Well, what a surprise! Big smiles lit their faces. The collection was back, in smart display cases. There were marbles in jars, not under your feet, and buttons on shelves, looking ever so neat. My collection looks great, said Dad, full of glee, and Mom, by his side, couldn't help but agree. She was very impressed, loving all that she saw. She even told Maurice to go and find more. So always remember, it's far more worthwhile, if you have a collection, to present it in style.